the society, the ecosystem we live in has evolved over time. As per the need and the challenges, we look for the alternatives to sustain. We have seen and been part of exploitation of available resources, the fossil fuels. We have witnessed and contributed to the emission of greenhouse gases, resulting in climate change, which is the major concern for the world and countries globally have now joined hands together and pledged for a carbon neutral world with zero carbon emission. For decades, the global automakers were juggling with finding new and sustainable alternatives to fossil fuels. And now, the need to switch from fuels to other environmental friendly alternatives is more than ever and electric mobility presents a viable alternative in addressing these challenges. When packaged with innovative pricing solutions, appropriate technology and support infrastructure and thus has been on the radar of the Government of India. In this series by ET Auto on future of mobility, we'll feature the companies who are working towards making India ready to go fully electric. Also, this series will showcase and talk about the entire EV ecosystem as a whole. If you see the uh, past, we talked about the EV landscape. We are moving, but we are not moving at the pace at which we as a nation, we are a big nation, need to move. So keeping that in mind, government has come out with a comprehensive package for promotion of EVs, both on the demand side and on the supply side. On the demand side, we have been operating FAME, as you know, since uh, 2014. Currently, we are in phase two of FAME, where we are giving subsidies uh, to two-wheelers and three-wheelers, ranging from 20% to 40% of the cars. In case of passenger cars, we are giving it for shared mobility, that is taxi, but not for the individual thing. On the public transport side, which are the buses, so the payout of uh, subsidy ranges up to 40% because the cost of battery in a bigger vehicle is higher. So this has resulted in a change in the growth of sale of EVs in the last year. The Government of India had a vision of going electric by 2030. To bring a change, we need to face and overcome many challenges. The infrastructure for e-mobility charging is a source of worry. In India, where the number of automobiles on the road is rapidly increasing, there are over 1,000 charging stations for electric vehicles. The proportions are unrealistic and the consumer's fears are completely justified. First thing I look is for, uh, in my criteria, would be the speed. Functionality in a daily usage. Another thing is the range. So I found that perfect combo. To be very specific, what we need is the quality of product. See why the EV sales are not increasing at the desired pace. The consumer is looking forward to a plus scenario, which means the performance of the vehicle in EV category should be at par at least vis-a-vis -vis the IC which he is using and then the performance, that's the easiness with which it can be recharged, that's what they are looking. So on the charging side, we have uh, 1000 crores under fame, we are setting up charging stations, we are in touch with the oil marketing companies which are likely to set up uh, thousands of chargers in the coming year. But from the industry side, they need to come up with the better quality products. The increasing demand for EVs and this transition will significantly demand the expansion of the EV charging infrastructure, supporting multiple charging scenarios. In addition, technology innovation would be at the core of this transition. So way back in 2017, when we discussed with a lot of CXOs on technology requirements, one thing came out very clearly, thus, uh, that this industry uh, has four different pillars on which it will be built on. So we realize that automotive companies are the first pillar where uh, they will change the vehicles, the powertrain, the battery and all of that. And uh, the second industry which will get majorly impacted is the energy industry because they have to fuel these vehicles. But what everybody missed at that point was that you equally need IoT and connectivity to connect all these devices because the new generation looks at every connected devices, no longer isolated equipment. 
the last part is where we came in is that uh, you suddenly realize that when all of them are connected there is a need for a lot of data a lot of software and you have to connect all of this this is a place where new products and new technologies are going to be leading the way and very few companies in india like i think lot, lot, lots of change over the last few years with with make in india and i think that's a great thing because i think most good companies are now manufacturing in india right and two wheeler companies are always in india but i think what's always missing is built and designed in india what ether was able to challenge and change in almost like a industry changing way was to build and design a product grounds up with its entire technology in india build the entire platform here in india and then move that to production here as per the reports the demand for evs is rising in india the country's automobile sector is the world's fifth largest with plans to become the third largest by 2030 According to an independent analysis conducted by CEEW Center for Energy Finance, India's electric vehicle market will be worth 206 billion US dollars by 2030 if the country meets its ambitious 2030 targets. This would necessitate a total investment in vehicle production and charging infrastructure of about 180 billion US dollars. So as Charles Zone when we when we started we very clearly visualized this has a great opportunity to provide ev charging as a service and thereby charge zone can be easily be classified as a energy business now and the vision was kept pretty simple that you create 1 million charging points by 2030 thereby serving let's say 30% of the indian market thereby serving the customers involved in personal mobility or or commercial mobility and and one of the most famous problem that we are trying to solve here is the range anxiety Battery occupies a larger portion of any electric vehicle's cost. Thus, the right policy move will help the nation steer towards green growth in the industry while exponentially increasing our manufacturing capacity. Battery and car makers are already spending billions of dollars on reducing the cost of manufacturing and recycling electric vehicle batteries, spurred in part by government incentives and the expectation of forthcoming regulations. we are aiming to produce at least 50 gigawatts of advanced chemistry cells in the next 5 years i am very happy to say that against the bids of 50 gigawatts we have received bids of approximately 130 gigawatt it shows the enthusiasm amongst the investors to go in for this so advanced chemistry cells as on today you know they are entirely imported Now comes the safety of the EVs which is always the top concern and there are several discussions and arguments seen around this manufacturers are working on design innovation and capacities to assure performance and long term viability for India's EV market while also meeting consumer demands electric vehicles are here to stay see safety is uh, number 1 priority there are acts under which safety has to be ensured for example the vehicles you know that we have central motor vehicle act so any vehicle to be sold has to pass the necessary certifications under that and the standards we have the bureau of indian standards they come out with standards but ev being a new so all the concerned agencies of the government they are working in close coordination with the industry for evolution of those standards so it is happening simultaneously but i entirely agree with you under no circumstances human safety can be compromised at all there are various things which are happening in the market and we are heading towards a very big change in terms of mobility for the people